What's up guys, Taylor here, welcome back to my channel. If you guys have not yet read the title of this video, I am going to be making some chicken tacos for you guys today. If you guys have been following me for a while now, you probably already know that I eat really clean and healthy. When it comes to cooking, I am very particular with the types of meals that I make. Food is really important. It plays such a huge role in my lifestyle. It is so important to properly fuel your body and know what foods work best for you. That is what has inspired me to make this video for you guys today. This morning I went and I hit the grocery store and I picked up all of the ingredients that I'm going to be using. Let's jump into this video. For starters, I wanted to show you guys what I picked up when I hit the grocery store this morning. Well, I picked up some gluten-free mini tortillas. Usually I do not eat flour and I avoid grain. I'm feeding my family tonight though, so I ended up picking up these tortillas. I picked up some spices that I'm planning on using when I make my guacamole as well as when I choose to spice my chicken. I picked up some boneless chicken breasts and some cilantro, two tomatoes, two limes, and some avocados. For some reason, I always end up picking bad avocados, so I'm really hoping that I lucked out with these three. Let's start cooking. I'm going to begin with cutting up my chicken. I don't enjoy touching raw meat and I didn't want to get that gross texture on my camera, so I did the cutting off camera. But now that I have finished cutting, if you can see, I have cubed all of my chicken breasts. I cut up three chicken breasts because I'm feeding six people tonight. If you are just feeding one person, I would only cut up one chicken breast. And I tried cutting them all relatively similar sizes. That way, when I go and cook it, they all cook evenly. Now that our protein's cut up, I am going to season it. I'm going to use some garlic powder, some onion powder, paprika, and some chili powder. And then I also <laughs> am gonna use some cayenne and cumin. When it comes to seasoning, I never measure anything. I just kind of wing it each time. Just do what I think. And then I just continue with all of them. So a little bit of cumin in there, cayenne pepper for some kick. And I usually, I like to put a little bit more cayenne in it. I usually put a little bit of pepper in there. So I'm adding some pepper and then some pink Himalayan salt. Mixed up, I'm just going to place it in the fridge for about 15 minutes while I work on my guacamole. Moving on to my guacamole, to start by cutting my avocado in half. And I'm really hoping that it ends up being a good one. Okay. Woo, she's cute. I'm just going to spoon it out into a bowl. I feel like I'm saying things that are kind of self-explanatory, but that's okay. I went ahead and I did all three avocados and this is what they look like inside the bowl. And guys, I just wanna say how happy I am. I picked three perfect avocados. That has never happened in the history of me buying avocados. I'm going to take my fork and just mush up all of the avocados. Now that my avocados are all mixed up, I'm going to take an entire lemon, cut it in half, and I'm just gonna take all the lemon juice and pour it into my guacamole. And it may just be me, but when it comes to adding garlic into my guacamole, I do not like to use garlic powder, I find it tastes really artificial and I just do not like it. So that is why I add three fresh cloves instead. To add my garlic, I have a garlic crusher, so you just put your clove in. And if you guys do not have one of these, it is such a good investment. Now that I have all of that mixed in, the last thing I'm going to do is add some spices. I like to add a little bit of basil. Of course, I always add salt and pepper. If you guys use 
just normal table salt. I recommend switching over to pink Himalayan salt. I find it adds a lot more flavor and pink Himalayan salt actually has health benefits behind it. The last ingredient I will be adding to my guacamole is perky pepper. I enjoy having a guacamole that has a little bit of a kick to it. Just have to taste test it. Ooh. Ooh. The last few things we have to do before cooking the meat will be just cutting up the tomatoes as well as the cilantro and lime. So I will do that off camera and then I will come right back. I just finished cutting everything up and this is what it looks like so far. So when I go to eat it, I'm gonna warm up these tortilla wraps first, but there's the guacamole, cut up tomatoes, cilantro and lime. We are all ready to start cooking our protein now. I like to cook with just raw coconut oil, so I'm going to add a little bit of a scoop into the bottom of my pan. I'm just adding my chicken to my pan. Cooked it at medium heat for about 20 minutes, and this is what it looks like. There you guys have it. That is the easy chicken tacos. You guys have reached the end of my video. I have to wait for everybody to come home to be able to eat, and I cannot wait. It smells so delicious. It's really fast, easy, and healthy. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.